Hello Virgo and welcome to your July 2022 Committed Love Reading. Virgo, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs. If there is more information in those for you, for more guidance, more clarity. If you have more than one partner, Virgo, you will have to discern who this, is re who this reading is for. Or feel free to check out your um, other partner's moon and rising signs and sun signs as well to get some more clarity and guidance in relationships for you. Um, as always, I appreciate you all being here. If you're new, thank you so much for being here. My name is Rudy. I appreciate you all so very much. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your trust, your support, your likes and subscribes, all your energies. Um, I really love hearing from you all. I really love the comments. I really like connecting. Uh, I try to answer everybody if you have a question. And I do try to answer everybody. So uh, just keep all that coming. I appreciate you guys. Um, all right, I'm trying to smudge here real quick. There we go, without burning myself <laughs> and all involved. Ah, it smells so good. All right, we're going to pull three cards for um, overall energy for you. And then this I will be for you, this I will be for your partner. And we will do oracle cards and um, clarifiers as well. So stay tuned for all of those. All right, Virgo, let's see what we have. Committed reading for July 2022 for Virgo and their partner. What does Virgo and their partner need to know about July 2022? All right, Virgo. Beauty, beautiful. Purity and trust. Wow, look at that card, isn't that gorgeous? All right, beauty, purity, and trust. Now, um, I always start with the middle card because I think it is the most strongest in, the, in, the, in this setting. Uh, beauty, you know, they say beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I don't see this as a physical beauty. I see this as you all seeing each other for the beauty you have within yourselves. I see this as you all um, honoring the beauty that is the person's soul, the person's spirit, the person, that inner person. I think the person is beautiful on the inside as well, that, as well as the outside, you and your partner. But you see the beauty in the person, not just on the outside. Because, you know, obviously when we love somebody, they're beautiful no matter what, right? Um, but you see the beauty on the inside as well. You see this, this beautiful person. We have purity and um, you know my first hit with this card was that maybe this is your first relationship maybe this is the first time you're together um, maybe you are I mean you could be in a relationship and not um, have it sexual I mean that's a possibility right that's a um, the the point too I feel with this is that you try to keep your relationship pure. You you try to maybe take care of yourself and maybe don't let other influences in. You know, uh, you're obviously you. I mean, not obviously, but you could be monogamous. You could maybe don't want anything to quote unquote come into the relationship. That's a possibility with purity. And you have trust. And I feel with this card is that there's trust in you and trust in your partner, and. I feel that you feel that you can trust each other with anything. I feel there's truth in this relationship. I feel that you kind of reveal your soul to this person as they do to you, especially with the beauty. It's like they really know the real me. They really see me for who I am. And there is this ability to, um, to kind of transform and transcend when you're with each other because you have that trust. All right, beautiful. This side will be for you, Virgo. This side will be for your partner. Again, if you have more than one partner, you will have to discern who this is for. So what we have for Virgo, please. We have the King of Pentacles. Wow. We have the Emperor, and we have the Ace of Cups. Very much, uh, and you know masculine um, energy here. Partner has a seven of pentacles. 
your partner has the three of pentacles and one more card please that's how i know see it i only got two here i'm gonna say that's how i know because it, it doesn't go anymore you have temperance and the hermit interesting patience Patience, patience, patience. If ever there's two cards that talk about having patience, taking your time, don't rush into things, is those two cards. All right. Very strong masculine energy in this. Doesn't mean that you're a man. It doesn't mean, it just means it, if you had the high priestess and you had um, like the queen of, um, if you had high priestess and the empress, you'd have strong feminine energy. This is strong masculine energy. This is very... Um, grounding energy very much sitting in your truth sitting in your power um, I feel Virgo that you know you have trust you have beauty and you have purity and I also feel this energy of I don't need a person in my life maybe you weren't looking for this person maybe you were standing on your own maybe you weren't um, putting yourself out there so to speak It's almost like, you know, you're very grounded and centered. You stand up for your truth. You stand up for your beliefs. You're very much a leader. Um, there could be knowledge here. You could be in school. You could be teaching or being in school. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be making your own money, your own business. And then comes love. Boom. And then comes love. And I think what it teaches is that you don't have to give up who you are to have love. You don't have to give up who you are to have the core value, to have your emotions, to have your cup running over. I don't feel like this is, um, I'm in charge energy. I just feel that it is a... Um, It's a very stable energy that you have for yourself. Again, I feel like I don't need, but boom, there came love. And I feel that you all feel it's divine. I think that's kind of where the purity comes in. There's this, there's this uh, beauty here with the love. There's this beauty here. There's this purity. It's almost like divinely guided. And it could be with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. It could be where you and your partner together are strong. You and your partner together can do things. You and your partner together are a force to be reckoned with. But I have a feeling, Virgo, you alone are a force to be reckoned with in a good way. Your partner is, you know, a hard worker. Your partner knows what it takes to make ends meet. Your partner knows what it takes to get from point A to point B. Your partner knows what it takes to get what you all want out of life. They're not afraid to put in the hard work. They're not afraid to show their work. They work well with others. They work well with you. You all get along very well together. Um... They can have, um, I almost feel, Virgo, like your partner's the one that is um, kind of the planner and you're the doer. Kind of like your partner's the one that's like, we're going to paint the living room pink or green or whatever. Get everything set up and then you all will do it. It's like you implement it. They, they come up with the ideas. Or they come up with whatever and you all implement it. You all work well together though. It's like they could be better at making the decisions for what needs to be done. And you all work well together. You all, you know, your partner could be also like maybe a contractor or somebody that knows how to do things and maybe teaches you. It's like they could say, you know, we really need to um, 
seal the basement and you you're like all right let's do it it's like you're on board with anything they want to do you're on board with anything that they come up with you're on board with it it's not like you're against it but they <clears throat> they almost are the ones that um, come up with the ideas in the relationship again they're very grounded, very stable. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Hermit, a Virgo card. You showing up in your partner's reading. We have Temperance. Card of Sagittarius. These both talk about not being in a rush. Not being in a rush. Take your time. Think about what you want. Think about how you want to move forward. Think about where you all want to go. Not being in a rush. You know, this relationship, Virgo, could have caught you both off guard. Because I think you were living life, and then boom. And I think they were going on with whatever they're doing. And, and you know, you all are working well together, but they're like... I think things might have happened really fast for you all. I think, too, that kind of comes in with the beauty card. It's like when one soul sees another soul and sees that person, it's hard not to unsee them. You know what I'm trying to say? When you know that's out there and you know that they, that, that they have the purity, that they have that honesty, that they have that kindness about them. And we all know there's not much of that in the world, right? So when you see it, and they have trust, it immediately draws you to them. And it just might be, especially with the double cards coming up, it's like everything you've wanted, everything they've wanted, everything they've wanted, everything you wanted, you all have made. Or are making, or can make. Things just take time, and things take thought. The Hermit talks about also having, allowing each other, allowing your partner, and a partner allowing you the time needed. Because I feel, Virgo, that your energy is, you like your alone time. I think that's how you think. And I think your partner likes to engage, you know, pull you into, which is fine. But you need your alone time, so your partner needs to know how to balance their time and then your time. Because your time, you need that alone time. I think you need that time to think. I think it's how you create. I think it's how you manifest what you want to manifest. And they need to have that um, knowledge of you and know when it's okay to back off and let you be by yourself. Bottom of the deck energy. This is subconscious energy for both of you, and it is the Four of Wands. Talks about stability and structure. It also talks about maybe taking something to the next level. Possibly a wedding. Possibly a, a celebration of some sort. Maybe planning a party. Feeling very safe and secure in the structure that you're in. And Virgo, you're all about structure. You know, you have the, the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. You're all about that stable structure energy. The Emperor's a four, and it's all about, um, you know, organization and power. Structure, stability. Wands, fast-moving energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Possibility of future. All right, Virgo. What does Virgo and their partner need to know for the month of July? What is their um, challenge for the month? Virgo and their partner's challenge for the month of July, please. Chariot, Carta Libra. 
your challenge is to know when to move forward know when to move i feel that with these with both these cards having patience knowing when the time is right is what your challenge is for this month knowing when the time is right for whatever it is that you all are trying to manifest whatever it is that you're trying to do wherever it is you're trying to go maybe you're trying to get a new car or maybe you're trying to go on a trip maybe you're trying to go on vacation know when the time is right to make your move know when the time is right your challenge what action does virgo and remember too virgo you're in charge so you're in charge it's a, it's almost like if you're booking a flight to be vigilant and watch and watch and watch and watch and then strike right what action does virgo and their partner need to take for the month of july what action does virgo and their partner need to take for the for the action for the month of july what action nothing The action you need to take is knowing when something's done, it's done. If there's something you're trying to revive, letting it go. It could be an aspect of the relationship. Maybe you're trying to bring back. It could be... Um, personal coming clean personal trust personal truths you know the 10 isn't number of endings where it's the end of a cycle, a beginning of a next cycle. Something new can come in. Something new can start. There could be a part of the relationship that you all might have been beating and beating up and beating up and beating up, so to speak. Like trying and trying and trying and trying. And maybe that's not you. Maybe maybe it is like... Um, maybe it's like getting married or maybe it's like living together. Maybe that's just not who you all are. Maybe you're not people that live together. Maybe you're traditional. Maybe you're people that want to do things traditionally and want to get married and have children and do all the traditional things that traditional people do. And maybe that's letting go of. I'm going to pull a clarifier on that one real quick. Give me a clarifier on the Ten of Swords. Yeah, the Empress. It's like, almost like standing in your own way of growth, standing in your own way of stability or fertility even. Um, if there's, um, <clears throat> kind of like if you want to have babies, maybe you're trying things that, maybe you've exhausted all possibilities and you want to have a baby, kind of that energy. Or, um, Maybe this is talking about letting nature take its course. Quit trying so hard and just let nature take its course. For whatever the reason it is. If it's children, it's children. If it's... Um, even if you want to buy a house and you've been trying and negotiating and doing this and doing that. That card's telling you... It's not telling you to stop that. But it's telling you also to back off of it a little bit. And let nature take its course. Let, let kind of whatever's going to happen, going to happen. There's growth there. There is expansion there. There's creativity there. There's creation. But you almost have to get out of your own way for it. Or you both have to get out of your own way for it. All right, Virgo. Let's pull some oracle cards for you. We have caution. Hmm. We have caution and differences. I 
I just think this talks about, I think you all are both different. I think you're very different. And I think there could be caution in the sense of rushing. Again, I think this happened really fast for you all. And I think there's a, a caution. This could be where this happened really fast and maybe you got pregnant and then what energy or they got pregnant and then what energy. Proceed with caution is what I hear when I see this card. It doesn't talk about um, the past. It talks about going forward. Proceed with caution. And know that just because you all are together, it doesn't make you one. There will be differences. You need to learn how to communicate better with each other. I think that could be where this Ten of Swords is to that hurt energy. Swords or knowledge, swords or communication. Standing in your own way. Maybe one of you being more stubborn than the other one. There's differences, but you have to learn to live with your differences or not. I mean, you don't have to. But in order to move forward and stay with the relationship, you will know that you all are both very different people that are drawn together. What's the saying? Opposites attract. One more card for Virgo and their partner, please. Tiger. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I see this as, again, it goes back to your emperor and your pen, uh, king of pentacles. Stoic. Let's see. Mm, looking for it. Hang on a second. All right, the tiger energy says overcome adversity through personal power. Exert a strong will to push through tough times. Exactly. That's exactly what I've been saying. Exert a strong will to push through tough times. You got tough times, there's caution. Be careful going forward. But you have this strong energy that encompasses you, Virgo. And this is telling you that you might have to, if you want this love, if you want this union coming in, you're going to have to dig deep and overcome a lot of differences in order for things to work. There's a lot to overcome in order to move forward. Beautiful. Take care, Virgo, of yourself. Take care of each other. Be safe. Stay healthy. If you like my readings, I post mid-month for um, health, career finance, and love. So check those out. Hit the notification bell. Subscribe so you don't miss anything. I appreciate you all being here. Virgo, thank you so very much. Let me know how this resonates. Uh, give me a thumbs up or hit, you know, just say, hey, it resonates or I like it or I didn't like it or whatever. Add what you think the cards mean even, you know. Add what it applies to you because it's a general reading. I like to know. Virgo, thank you so much. Stay safe and healthy. Be blessed. Until next month. Bye for now.